All right, I would like to jump now to Killer Giant Rats. Yeah! <laughs> the movie that made me move to the United States. Uh, All right. Uh, Rats in Denver. 1982, <laughs> Sean. Let's face it. I, I, it's very complimentary because it's the only film that's been shot in the whole Canada at the time. Because at the time, the like, films were very seasonal. It was only done in the summertime. Mm-hmm. And there, there wasn't a big industry, so they were only in the summer. And this is so this is January, the only film shot in the entire country. So I'm very, it's very flattering. But let's face it, it's Dashens dressed up in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait, let's say this is this surprisingly movie is, effective. This is yeah. deadly, deadly eyes. Deadly eyes. Oh, it used to be called the rats. Because also, uh, also, also known as James Eggly, who rats. wrote it, wrote the shield. Oh, oh, that's right. Wow. And this is based on a what James of, Herbert, or, uh, right? I think yeah, James, yeah, James Herbert called, called the rats. And right. another great director, Robert Klaus. Uh, when I was right. working with him, I had no idea who he was. I hadn't, so I, I, I didn't get the connection that on the mark he had said Enter the Dragon. Right. 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 I just saw it like, it's, oh yeah, of course. When I went on all those dates at the drive-in, they had like <laughs> the game know, of death. Playing. Yes, yes. I, 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 I never made the connection until flash forward twenty years. I'm in L.A. and this Asian actor friend of mine said, "You work with Robert Klaus?" <laughs> said, what do you mean? He goes, "He did. He directed Enter the Dragon." <laughs> I, I had no idea, but again. He just met you, and he always knew what he wanted. You know, there was no question after you did a take. Nothing. It was, it's just so easy. And and it's like Claude Chabrol said, it's like a picnic. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and, and when I was so unhappy on, you know, on it rained all night, the day I left, on my way back, I stopped in Paris, and I called Claude, but he couldn't get together. And I told him how unhappy it had been. And he said, you really got to watch. You really have to watch who you work with because it will make you hate your craft. Hmm. And I understand that now. At the time, I didn't. Yeah, hmm. But he's absolutely right. Right. Because I, I didn't like my craft on some of my films, like on the class of 1984. I, I didn't like it. But not on Deadly Eyes. Deadly Eyes. Yeah. How are the dachshunds to work? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let the, the premises know, which is the premise. Did you know, I'm sorry, but one of the dachshunds had a heart attack and died. Oh, oh great. Oh. Now, what the Thanks, again, Lisa. Again, great. Again, I get that this would not happen in the United States because of the SPCA. That's true. Yeah. At the time, it was the Wild Wild West. Yeah. Right. Which, which one was it? Was it Sparky? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here I, first, I, I folks. I don't know, but here, here's, here, 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 here's the tragedy. Yeah. See, rodents walk a certain way, right? They just like scurry along. Sure. Mm-hmm. Dogs trot. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the first time I saw these rats, it was in the movie theater, right? Yeah. And what they had to do, because they were all wearing costumes, mm-hmm. right? And so the two things would happen, you know, like a dog, you put anything on its head, and they're they keep flicking their head on the side, mm-hmm. right? So that didn't quite work. So I, it was they they put everything in in kind of like a dark lighting. Mm-hmm. But they trot, and to get them to move all at once, they, they had raw meat. Because they couldn't see, like other dogs are trained, and they can, the trainer can tell them, come this way, or they do a certain sign. But these dogs had costumes on and couldn't see, so they put out raw meat, and mm-hmm. so they ran towards the smell. Mm-hmm. Well, well, a strong sense of smell. Yeah, that, could have, that could have worked with real rats, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that works for me. With <laughs> but, no, but because the idea was that there's these r- dog-sized rats overtaking the city right. and killing people, I mean, and this is be- pre-CGI, this pre-CGI. Is all this stuff. I and know. Practical. But, but there are, there are um, shots in the movie where you see the rat, you know, dogs dressed as rats, <laughs> Um, in the same shots going after the actors, and it's startling because like you're like, holy fuck! It's like this giant yeah, mind like this is I, real. I think for the most part it works really well. And then, I agree. You know, no, it, it really it really does, and you know we all hate rodents, and it was my ultimate nightmare because, um, you know, uh, growing up with a single mother, you know we weren't always flush, and I remember this one house we lived in, we did have rats. Okay. Oh. So for years I had nightmares about rats. Wow. And so then I, then I ended up in a movie about rats. But it was really the movie that it was said, you know, it's time to move to the United States. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but again, it's all like these Americans making movies up there. Right. Lisa, and with Scatman Crothers. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. That's, that's how they get you. Like Glenn Ford, John Huston, <laughs> Scatman, Scatman Crothers. Crothers. It's like that carrot. You go, right, right. If they're doing the movie, it must be. But you know, was, did you... Was, did you Get to meet him and hang with him. I, I I didn't get to hang with him, but I and I didn't have any scenes with him. But 
just like Glenn Ford, you better believe that I went to the set to watch them work. Yeah, right. That's awesome. And, you know, for a movie about giant rats attacking people, this movie really delivers. Like, this is not, it does not skip on the rat attacks. I mean, it's, it's great. It's, it's really fun. It, it carries off a baby. Come on. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I, 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 I am in for it, this and one you know all what? the way through. Just like a James Cameron movie, there's always a love story. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. So I want to tell your, your character in this like movie. For those people who don't like horror movies, you know, or sci-fi, the secret is to always have a love story. Yeah, and you play you play this uh, student to Sam Groom, who's it's a teacher. It's pre right? It's a pre yeah. yeah, yeah. But like you're 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 very much enamored by the older man, so you're kind of trying to, to seduce Sam Groom. Yeah, and but he wasn't whole... David Hemmings. <laughs> right. those, those scenes play very well. But yeah, yeah. it really Thank does you. work well. Yeah.